What's going on guys? My name is Animus. Welcome back to another Forza Horizon 5 video. Today's video we're going to be checking out a new car that came with the car pass. A really really cool car by the way. It is an actual like more road car focus like so it's a it's kind of a car that we see every day, right? And that's one thing that I want Forza to be doing. Like yes, I understand that a lot of these cars like this Porsche right here, they're cool, right? They're awesome. They're super super fun to drive around in the game. But I do want to see more road version cars, such as the Toyota Tacoma, Toyota TRD Pros, uh, some of the forerunners that have come to the game already. And now we have this car that is actually focused more on like, you know, road stuff, right? Stuff that you see driving down the road in real life. All right, guys. So before we get started in all of that, we need to do shout outs. We have a couple people I need to shout out. All right, because they commented on some of the latest videos, so I'm gonna shout them out right now. All right, guys. So we got Jan Sim Racers, Animus Super Like again with him. We got David Bailey. All right, man, great content. Thanks for all the help you give to us. Thank you. And then we got Eagle Gaming saying, "Are you Indian?" I'm not Indian, and I told him this, but I'm not Indian. I'm Hispanic, right? Uh, Mexican and American heritage. Uh, so I'm Hispanic, right? There you go. That's what I am. And then Eagle Gaming again with which bike is this in GTA 5 damn fast. He's referring to when I do the time trials in GTA 5 online. That bike is the Hakuchi Drag with the How Special Works upgrades down at the Los Sanos car meet. So there's that. If you guys didn't miss the last video, it was about this thing. It's the Porsche. I forgot the name. Porsche 959. It is all wheel drive stock. It's kind of slow stock, 400 horsepower. But with the upgrades, it has, I don't even know how much horsepower, I think it has like 1,400 horsepower. This thing is absolutely insane. 1,441 horsepower this thing has. It is absolute, it's an absolute monster to freaking drive in this game. Like, it is crazy. Anyways, let's move on to today's car. I know it was a long intro, but that was a lot of comments, and I just smacked into that rock. So, let's get straight up into it. Let's go over to, to the, you know festival site let's go pick up our car pass car that we get so this car is a car pass car unfortunately for those of you guys who do not have car pass but if you don't do not buy the car individually buy the entire car pass that way you can get all of the cars that come in car pass that you're gonna end up loving either way all right here it is the audi rs3 sedan from 2020 it has 394 horsepower 354 foot pounds of torque it weighs three and a half thousand pounds out of a 2.4 liter engine this thing is all-wheel drive stock and it's sort of at the bottom of a class at 734 so i really don't know how this thing is going to do in terms of racing but hopefully we can throw some cool upgrades on it make it look really really cool uh can i buy it what's going on all right guys so let's take a little walk around around this thing so it is a quattro all-wheel drive hence why it says quattro right there at the bottom of the grill rs3 that's a massive front grill too jesus christ open up everything uh, little engine right here uh, still makes about almost 400 horsepower which is super super good out of this tiny little thing the, like I my car makes 256 and it's a what 3.6 v6 this thing is a two point something uh, looks like a four cylinder if I'm being honest right am I crazy you can fit a couple bodies in the back as well look at that boom dual outlet exhausts dual tips super cool stuff um, it looks like there's like a compartment right there that you can actually, you know, lift up, I think. That little thing right there in the middle. Okay. Can we get into the back? No way we fit there. Jeez. Our character's like massive, dude. He's, he's like built. Not a lot of legroom. All right. Not a lot of legroom. There's like a foot of legroom and that's it. All right. Cup holders in the back. We have no cup holders. Okay, then. I guess when you pull down the center console, sometimes in the back of cars, if you pull down the center armrest there's a cup holder there so maybe if you do that with this thing how do I get out of this uh, it's not letting me get out at all uh, am I stuck here okay there we go that's fine that is absolutely fine it's going to the front RS3 badging on the door sill um, the vents look like uh, like jet engines like the back of an engine jet engine um, I like the steering wheel the steering wheel looks pretty good it is a Oh, it's not a manual. Damn, I got so excited. I'm like, oh, it's a manual? Really? It's not. It's a uh, automatic. Is that gear sh shift lever in reverse? What is that? 
bro, how are, we're parked and it's in reverse. What is that little knob? Is that the... Oh, that's the radio knob. What? It's on the bottom. Look, the little screen's up there. Cup holders up here. There's two. Okay, driver and passenger. That's fine. Um, I don't really like them all the way that front because if you throw in a big gulp, um, it really doesn't do much. Like, there's no space to throw in a big gulp or a 44-ounce in there. Um, so there's that. Uh, maybe there's some space, but I've never been in a Quattro or an Audi RS3 for that matter. So I really don't know about, you know cup holder space so there's that wheels look kind of cool not gonna lie i like the front grille it's super aggressive all right guys here at the horizon mexico circuit testing out our audi rs3 pretty decent on acceleration not the best not the worst is that an rs7 that looks cool so it is all-wheel drive so it hardly ever gets wheel spin off the line especially with it's only 400 horsepower oh god there we go the turning is fine it does turn kind of weird oh wow we just gained like a like four spaces right there easy absolutely easy not bad I the sound is kind of muffled oh it backfires already just stock stock it backfires that's so good so the sound it sounds kind of weird like it sounds like it's muffled but at the same time you can hear it right you know what I mean Oh my god, the brakes. It like locks up the inside wheel when you're turning. No bueno right there. That is not good. So we're in 6th place right now. It's not doing that bad. It's just we can't seem to catch up to these people up here. Only because we're just a little bit slow. And we're at the bottom of A class at 734. I'm going to do my concentration lap. So I'll catch you guys in the next lap. Alright guys, we were able to make it to 5th place. We are on a 3rd lap. Uh don't think we're gonna be able to make it to any other position aside from fifth unless we mess up and go down but trying to go up in position because that's you know how you win <laughs> so trying to go up in position uh, can't really catch up to this guy in fourth he's kind of taking corners pretty well but his top speed kind of sucks so I gain on top speed but you know like the corners are what gets me and he has a spoiler already on like an actual rear spoiler so his downforce around corners is greatly greatly greater than mine so there's that and I just don't like how the inside wheel locks up every single time I go around the corner how did you do that you took that corner so well <laughs> all right see if we can uh, pass him because sixth place is no bueno we were in fifth looks like we're not gonna be able to catch up to that guy in, in uh, fifth place Unfortunate, so we got 6th place, basically almost half of the pack, actually we were half of the pack, unfortunately. Let's go fit this thing up with some upgrades, uh, see what this thing can do, how much horsepower we can throw out. We need more grip, we need better brakes, and we need better weight reduction because we are really really slow right now, and that sucks so bad. Alright guys, here at the upgrade shop, let's go see what kind of engine swaps we can do to this thing. I'm, wow, that's a lot. Uh, 6.2 liter V8, 510 horsepower. Ooh, that doesn't sound like a normal 6.2. Okay. Turbo Rally. A racing inline 6 turbo. And a 5.2 liter V10. Alright, so on the stock engine, you can put a total of about 755 horsepower. And it sounds kind of cool. But I want more horsepower. I'm going to do the 6.2 liter V8 because that freaking uh, V6 or inline 6 is uh, way too much, honestly. 100. 23 horsepower just with a turbo upgrade super super cool stuff we get no body mods that is so disappointing are you freaking kidding me track with we can at least extend that all the way to the uh, fender which is good uh, if you want to make the wheels bigger you are running stock 19s so you can do 20s if you want on front on um, both front and back which is uh fine I guess I'm so disappointed dude there's no body mods let's go down Ooh, that looks good little bit down in suspension if we throw drift suspension it goes lower on drift suspension jeez all right we're gonna stay stock with the race spring and dampers because we're racing not drifting in total we're putting out 1002 horsepower 857 foot pounds of torque we weigh 2988 pounds out of a 6.5 liter v8 engine all right let's uh, install these upgrades i'm gonna leave the the color because i like the color it's like a stone gray looks really really good and we are going to buy this for 95,000 credits. Dude, that is a lot of freaking money. 
Imagine just pulling up to an upgrade shop and being like, uh, I want this V8, all the turbos, give me all the transmission specs, I want all the tires, 95 grand. That's more than the whole car itself, dude. Like, that's a lot of freaking money. That's a lot, a lot of money. All right, we're gonna start the race. We're at the bottom of S2 class and 922, so we're not gonna be able to do that good. Hopefully we can do good, but I'm not even sure anymore. Wheel spins first all the way to 40. Second catch is grip, takes us from there, basically. We are in 12th place right now. Holy shoot, the way this thing turns now is really, really weird. Ooh, that was a good turn until I like messed it up with, you know, full throttle. Oh, go. Oh, that was a freaking banger turn right there. Super, super good. All right, slow down. It's going to third gear. Oh, shoot. Oh, wheel spin, man. Wheel spin. Drifting around the corner or power sliding around the corner is not the most ideal way to take corners. Hey, this guy. What in the world is your problem? I totally had that handled and you literally messed it all up. The inside wheel still locks when you're braking, which is really, really weird. Like, why does the car do that? All right, second lap, gonna concentrate. All right, guys, I cannot catch up to the people in front of me anymore because they literally, what is up with these people, man? They like rubber band so hard. Such a cheap way of freaking racing in this game. Honestly, that's why I hate Forza AI. Like they rubber band, so like right now they're behind me by a lot. And then they're gonna come up and like honestly randomly pass me. And cross the line in seventh place because the game is so freaking trash. If they wouldn't have freaking crashed into me at the beginning of the race, I bet you I would have been in like third place. At least. Alright guys, ready. We're gonna do a top speed run in the Audi RS3. Uh, hopefully we can reach some good mile an hour, right? We got all this runway to go through. We're at the highway, and we're gonna launch it in second gear. 4,000 RPM, go. Wheel spin all the way up to 64. Catches grip in third, we're in fifth gear. 170 miles an hour, sixth gear. 215 miles an hour in seventh gear. This isn't bad. 1,002 horsepower, 230 miles an hour. That is not bad at all. If we, whoa, we're doing 240? What the heck? Why are we going so fast? 245. I swear, if we throw in the inline six engine, the super engine basically, we're gonna be like flying in this thing. We're doing 240, 248 right now. 249, 250, going uphill a little bit, 251, we're still gaining. We only have seven gears, so this is it. Whoa, the steering is super touchy right now at this kind of speed. We're gonna go downhill in just a second. 255? 259 miles an hour is how fast this thing can go from what I saw. I didn't see 260, but 259 I did see. Holding 256, going down to 255, a little bit. There's no way we're taking this corner at that speed. For realsy though. <laughs> I'm very impressed. Wow, 1,002 horsepower in this little car out of a 6.2 V8 or 6.5 V8. And it's freaking launching, dude. It's going 259 miles an hour. That is insane. In this little freaking compact sedan. That is absolutely insane. That's a lot of freaking speed right there. That's, that's a definite cop. Honestly, that surprised me way too much. And I feel like just because it does not have, or I feel like it makes up for not having body mods. Like, honestly, that is a really, really good uh, test of top speed. 259 miles an hour, almost 260. And that is just with the 6.5 liter V8. That's not even counting if we throw in the 3 liter V6. Or inline 6, sorry. I keep getting that confused. If we throw in the 3 liter inline 6, I'm sure people are going to do it. Um, 
Top speed is going to be around through 270 to maybe 275 if anything. Going downhill almost 280 if you can handle it and control it. But that is a that's good. I'm impressed. I like this car. Might be a new you know go-to car for races, especially for just driving around. It's a real cool car. Let's do this uh, 60 launch really quick, or you know what? I'll do a 30 launch and make sure I have boost. Go. Wow, that's pretty good. 30 to 100 is almost instant. Going from 100 to 200 is takes about maybe 12 seconds, honestly, or maybe 10. That is crazy how fast this thing just picks up speed, man. Anyways, that's where I'm going to wrap it up. Look at how much times it backfires, too. Like, seriously. Like, it is a backfiring monster. All Audis in the game are. But, I mean, look at this thing. I'm going to let off. And it's just going to backfire for days. Look at that. That's, that's pretty cool. That is also, also pretty cool. All right. That's where I'm going to wrap off this video, though. If you guys did enjoy, smack the like button. Subscribe if you are new. Try to make it to 900 subs. Comment down below if you guys do want a shout out. And also comment down below if you just want to say hi. Right? Say hi. Uh, if you like the card, comment down below. If you're going to get car pass, let me know in the comments. Right? Stuff like that. If you guys do want a shout out, like I said, just comment. I can't stress that out enough. I'm literally saying it over and over again. That way you guys can understand. That if you guys do want a shout out, just comment down below. I'll shout you guys out in the next video. Anyways, subscribe if you're new, like I said, and that's going to wrap it off. Thanks a ton for watching. Hope you guys have an outstanding day. Catch you guys in the next video.